billionaire has been found dead near a beach in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now, this is coming off of a theme of crypto billionaires passing away. Bro, hella weird, bro. We spoke about it last week. There was a gentleman that passed away. And their deaths are very interesting where their bodies are found. I believe this gentleman's body was found, it says it right here, on the beach, washed away, a dead body. Now, if you look at his tweets, specifically, very cryptic. This was his tweets before he passed away. He said, and let me just add allegedly in case his whole channel gets taken down. CIA and Mossad and pedo elite are running some kind of sex trafficking entrapment blackmail ring out of Puerto Rico and Caribbean islands. They are going to frame me with a laptop planted by my ex-girlfriend who, who was a spy. They will torture me to death. Month later, he has passed away. Where? In Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Now, Logan Paul, a lot of celebrities are living in Puerto Rico to avoid taxes because Puerto Rico is now claimed in America as a territory, I believe. You can live in Puerto Rico and you have benefits as an American in Puerto Rico. So this keeps a loophole for a lot of people who are rich, right? So this gentleman who passed away was alluding to this prior to his death. Are we saying that this is facts? No, because I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very suspicious. And guess what? I don't think we're going to die for even talking about it. I think we're good because we're not crypto billionaires. Uh -huh. So a message to crypto billionaires, those that are left alive, open your eyes. Look into this shit and let us know because this is for. Yo, higher security. Or I don't know. I feel like if, if this, God forbid, if this is really happening, which we know, we know it's happening, right? Allegedly, it's obviously happening. Is there any way around it? They might have like no, bro, because he tweeted this shit, right? So he had a feeling he knew and then it happened because being found dead is one thing, but was it a suicide? Was it not? Even if it was, we've heard of framed suicides all the time. Everyone alludes to Jeffrey Epstein's suicide in jail, in prison, being framed yeah. mm -hmm. this, these things happen cia central intelligence but it's like this, my god this is my thing right i'm scared of this shit bro this, this is my thing right um first of all look at these people these cryptocurrency billionaires what they look like let's look them up while you're talking two right what do what do cryptocurrency cryptocurrency billionaires have to or do to become a threat you know what i'm saying besides obviously we know that this shit is low-key falling off and shit like that quote unquote right now right but like we know what the future you know we're heading towards the future and we know that shit like this is probably gonna be the future so like what's the whole point of these motherfuckers being eliminated yeah, it's weird. And why would they, quote unquote, kill themselves? It's very weird. You know what I'm saying? They created this cryptocurrency. They became billionaires, which was the goal off of it. And now you're dead? How does that make any sense? Because even if they're, like, losing money, shouldn't they, like, let's say they're losing money and they're going to maybe kill themselves. I heard the door, right? You heard something? Yeah, I heard something. It could be just, like, um the temperature, et cetera, the but. We are talking about CIA. So the CIA might be in here. So let's wrap this up soon, guys. We're going to end this topic and end this podcast in case the CIA is trying to creep in and snipe us through here. Um, if they're listening, we are live, even though we're not. Let's pretend we are. We are live. We are live, CIA. But this, to break this down, because I thought they were all young, but there was one that was 53 years old. So Taryn, 53 years old. Colander, 30 years old. Mushenga, 29. This is three of the four that passed away under different circumstances between October 28th and November 25th, literally a month apart between the study days, right? Dealers and analysts are throwing up theories and calls for thorough investigations into what some believe are mysterious deaths because situations like this, look at the digital asset firm of the late Chinese national that passed away, received a $3 billion evaluation in 2022 and was seeking another $100 million in funding. 
So these were active crypto companies that even in the midst of crypto tanking, they were still seeing success. Helicopter thing. They're only going to know if they look into the helicopter stuff. And then the one in his sleep. <laughs> My thing is, what are they trying to cover up? Final question. What are they trying to cover up? Are they trying to cover up something crypto related? Are they trying to cover up something pedophile related? We saw what happened with Balenciaga, Jeffrey Epstein. A lot of dark stuff is happening and has happened behind the scenes with very successful rich people. And no one talks about it because they're scared. And I'm scared too, so let's stop talking about it. <laughs> there we have it. That's Cap, episode 61. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below. Make sure to cop that merch out right now. Holiday sale going, free shipping. The merch is out right now. Old styles, new styles. We got the Cap merch, the uh, podcast merch available also on Teespring. That's separate. That's different. You can cop that as well. And yeah, man, we love you guys. Back next week with another episode. There might be a random special guest. If not, like we said, we're going to do that list. We're going to debate in here. It's going to be spicy. I'm ready. Love you guys. They gonna love me for my ambition. They gonna love me for my ambition.